solving a greater than absolute value inequality. Let's start off by just looking at a simple example of an absolute value inequality with a greater than symbol. How about the absolute value of x greater than 5? Now, if you remember what absolute value means, it means the distance away from 0. So what this example says is the distance away from 0 must be more than 5 units. It might be illustrated a little better on a number line. So there's my 0. Let's go ahead and put 5 here. Again, the absolute value of this number x is greater than 5 means that this number x, whatever it is, must be more than 5 units away from 0. So let's see. Could x be a number somewhere in here? That's a question. Well, if x was in this interval, it would be certainly less than 5 units away from 0. So x could not be there. Could x be in between 0 and negative 5? Well, a number in here is less than 5 units away from 0, so certainly x could not be in that interval, which leaves us this interval out here or this interval out here. Could x be out there? Sure. If x is out here, then x is more than 5 units away from 0. Could x be over here? Sure. If x is in this interval, again, this number would be more than 5 units away from 0. So notice, if I encounter this type of a problem, I can really set up two inequalities. x can be less than negative 5, or x can be greater than 5. And if I wanted to put this in interval notation, the numbers x less than negative 5 is the interval from negative infinity to negative 5. And remember when we do or inequalities, that means union with this interval over here. Okay. Let's try a little tougher example. The same concept, though. Absolute value of 4x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Here's my number line. Again, this number, 4x minus 1, must be more than one unit away from 0. So 4x minus 1 must live out there, or certainly 4x minus 1 can be out here. Now, let's set up the two inequalities. 4x minus 1, I'll talk about this one, can be less than or equal to negative 1, or 4x minus 1 is greater than or equal to positive 1. And now we'll solve each inequality inequality independently of each other, and then we'll try to get the interval notation. To solve this, uh, why don't we go ahead and add 1 to both sides. For x less than or equal to 0, the negative 1 and positive 1 is 0, divide by 4. x is less than or equal to 0. Now I'll go ahead and solve this one. 4x greater than or equal to 2, dividing by 4. x greater than or equal to 1 half. I can reduce the 2 fourths, and that becomes 1 half. And I'll bring down the or. Now let's see what this interval is. I may want to just quickly draw it on a number line. The values of x less than or equal to 0 well, that would be those points there. 
the values of x greater than a half or equal to would be those points. And we get the following interval. Negative infinity to zero, inclusive on the zero. Union with the points, one half to infinity. Now let's go ahead and look at that example again. It's at the absolute value of 4x minus 1 greater than or equal to 1. And our solution for all the points between negative infinity and 0, union with the points between 1 half and infinity. Well, this means we can pick any point in this interval, plug it into our inequality, and it will give us a true statement. Or we could pick any point in this interval, plug it into our inequality, and that will also give us a true statement. The only values that would not give us a true statement are the values between 0 and a half. Okay. Let's try one more. Should get the hang of it. Now, I encourage you to always think about these absolute value problems in terms of distance. It makes much more sense that way. The absolute value of negative 2t plus 1 must be more than 9 units away from 0. So again, we have to come up with two inequalities. For this number to be more than 9 units means that this number must be out in this interval, or it could be in this one. So I, again, get the two inequalities. Negative 2t plus 1 can be less than a negative 9, or negative 2t plus 1 can be greater than 9. Now let's solve those two inequalities independently and maybe we'll graph the solution on a number line and then come up with the interval notation. Let's solve this one. Let's subtract 1 from each side. Negative 2t less than negative 10. And now I'll divide by negative 2 because I want to get the t's on one side alone. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1. Now remember, since I divided by a negative value, I must switch the direction of my inequality, and I get t greater than 5. Again, let's solve this one by subtracting 1 to each side, negative 2t greater than 8. I'll divide by a negative 2, just like with this one over here, I must switch the direction because I divided by a negative value. And I get these two separate intervals. Now we'll just bring down the word or. Now I'll try to come up with the interval notation. I need all values of t that are strictly greater than 5. So I must get all of those points. Maybe I'll do that in black so we can see it a little better. I need all of those points. Or I can take all the points that are less than a negative 4. I would encourage you to do the number line. It just helps, helps to see what the interval notation is going to be. Now we'll just write down each interval. This interval is negative infinity to negative 4 with an open parenthesis. And since it's an or problem, I need the union symbol. And this interval is 5 to infinity. OK, so let's just summarize. If we encounter an absolute value inequality with a greater than, we simply come up with these two equations. And it's pretty easy to see why.
if this number ax plus b is more than c units away from zero, then ax plus b must be out here, which gives us this inequality. ax plus b is less than negative c, or ax plus b could certainly be bigger than c. So I would encourage you when you're doing these absolute value problems to think in terms of distance. Now you may want to go back and review the less than inequality with the absolute value. You may want to review the equality, and certainly you might want to review this tape as well. Um, practice, practice, practice. See your instructor if you need some help.